it took some years before um, a real concerted effort was made to tell the story of the Moors. Um, they had been mentioned uh, early on, but only um, in passing, a, a paragraph. Uh, and really, it wasn't until Ben Green uh, wrote his book, uh, Harry T. Moore, before his time, uh, and did all the research on, on Harry Moore and stuff, that their story um, grabbed the attention of, of the general public, um, including many historians uh, and, and civil rights activists. That's one of the things that we strive uh, to do is to always tell the story accurately and as the facts are, because that's very important uh, in terms of history, is that you want to make sure that uh, the facts are straight. And, and we have people uh, at times who try to tell the Moore story uh, and they want to put a spin on it uh, to how they think it was or, or what sounds good to them. And uh, we try to intercept that when we can. Do I feel that our work is uh, important in getting the facts straight? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, um, I think that our work with the Bavard School uh, District Board um, in uh, that proposal uh, was very important that as we developed this curriculum about the Moors, that we made sure that uh, the things that we talked about uh, in terms of the curriculum and the lesson plan are factual. Mr. Moore was uh, someone who was a visionary and he saw things that could be, but was not present at the time. And so much of his work was to bring these things into being there, is to stop the lynching, to stop police brutality, to see that uh, children of color had an opportunity for an equal education, to see that they had equal education facilities there, they had buildings and so forth. Uh, to see that teachers receive the same salary for equal work.